Of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owens said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? It does, Mr. Liu. I know that uh, Ms. Owens distanced herself from those comments later, but we expressed great concern over the original comments. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Owen, uh, Ms. Owens, I'm sorry. We just started a recording. Um, would you like time to respond to that? Yes. Um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Liu believes that black people are stupid and will not f uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness, clip. The witness absent. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. Witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. May I continue? Please. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two-hour clip. And he purposefully extracted, he cut off, and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany, when in fact, the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether or not I believed in nationalism, and that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut-up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. That was unbelievably dishonest, and he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and should tell you a lot about where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew, and a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem. I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. I'm deeply offended by the insinuation of, of revealing that clip without the question that was asked of me. Okay, so obviously, you know, that's a, a pretty iconic clip from Candace Owens, but this is the thing. And this, and, and she really did point out uh, what Democrats and what the left do a lot, okay? And you have to understand, this was a couple of years ago. This was before we really were became aware of the tricks of the trade when it comes to the left. But what they did uh, is they played a clip completely out of context. Um, they played 30 seconds of a clip, and I think that she had given like a five-minute long response. I'd seen the full context of the clip. And so what they wanted to do was to smear her and make her seem like, I don't know, an anti-Semite, a racist, whatever – this is what the left does. In her words, and she was absolutely right, these people are unbelievably dishonest, okay? These people do not tell the truth. These people operate in bad faith. And like she said in her response, these people, they think that people are dumb enough to not believe their eyes and their ears, um, not to go back to look for the original context of the the clip, but to believe the spliced up version that that person decided to reveal um, in that hearing. It's despicable. It's stupid. It's silly. But again, these are people that do not have a lot of respect for you or me. They think that we are just going to believe the narratives that they try to create.